What is going on, Roland Empire? Here, guys, to give you a video. The latest man uh, episode of The Mandalorian, especially out, you know, however you see it, it's uh, chapter 15, or in my take the way I'm freaking uh, dubbing these titles, it's season 2, episode 7. Now, this one's The Believer. This one is now what I saw is going to be Rick Famuyuka directing and writing the episode 2. So, I like how he's earned enough to trust a Favreau and crew to be like, you can write some stuff. He did two episodes prior to the first season, and in the second one, I think he had full ring to finally do what he wanted. It's not the best episode, but it was a nice, like, looking stylish. Still kind of flavorful. It's a very flavorful episode. So now he has his chance to do, you know, what I thought. Because it, depending how, you know, these seasons could align, it would have been part one of a part two of a full season finale kind of thing. So he's taking that. But still, it was curious. It's like he did enough of a good job. I was like, let me see how he does. He is an accomplished director. If you know him, he's an accomplished director of his own films. But he's done really good in these episodes. And, you know, this leads up where, you know, um, Gideon got Grogu, Mando, and Boba. Everybody wants him back. Bill Burr. Bill Burr was uh, set up. I thought his character was all right before seeing this episode. and But then we'll get into him a, a little bit right now. But they're kind of planning to see, you know, they need him to kind of look for what Gideon, you know, where he's at and all that. So now, you know, in this one, it starts off where, you know, Bill Burr's been and then, you know, Carrot Dune and all that trying to get him out. And then realizing, like, he sees Boba. He's like, I thought you were somewhere else. Mando comes out and then, you know, their, their, their uh, confrontation, you know, aligns and all. And then they explain what goes on, you know. And what was really good throughout this whole thing is the way you are in the slave now. Realizing how the slave turns when it, you know, it's getting to, ready to, you know, go. That's a nice little look. It's kind of reminded me of a ride. I was like, whoa, this is like a ride or something. So it was nice kind of seeing that kind of interaction. Realizing, you know, that's true. What is in it for him? And they're like, oh, we'll give you enough. They're like, fine, fair is fair. So it's a nice way to kind of catch him up a bit and realizing how that they had Grogu it was nice it showed Bill Burr some kind of character like really like realization like so like, yeah Mando whatever but you know still got some heart so it kind of shows and it kind of foreshadows a bit so it was interesting to know how he reacted to that and then they get to the sh you know the the uh, planet and it's a nice looking planet it's almost kind of reminded me of Scarab but there wasn't too much of the beach it was more still like like Endor with the forest Scarab with the palm trees and all that it was a nice looking um scenery like at least the world they went it was a nice little atmosphere i definitely enjoyed the atmosphere way it was and then realizing here this is what i really like one of my favorite things of this episode was mando mando has to go go a bit against his code he has to get a different suit and all and then throughout this whole process bill burr is kind of giving him like do good guys and bad guys and all that sound familiar um but i like how it was done in this episode they like kind of what's the difference but you know there's still some morality but still throughout the whole process is good like it's good to have Mando thinking everything. And I, it, what, what works the best out of this episode is his morals. I really like the more of how, especially where the episode starts and the way it ends, this was a nice character development for Mando himself. I like this. Like, everybody everybody has their own, like, you know, screen time. Like, Ahsoka came, Boba. You know, you have Ahsoka, Boba, cameo appearances. But this one is fully-fledged Mando. This is the Mando where, like, okay, you know, we got to get more, you know, we got to get grinding. We got to get grinding to this guy and give him more of a development. And it showed, you know, and I like that, that, you know, there were some stakes. He had to kind of, you know, blend in. He had to blend in and pick out these suits. So it really raised the stakes more of what's going to happen with these guys. And, you know, as this going on, there's in this intense sequence with, I think it's pirates. It was supposedly pirates, but they were trying to just, you know, they were just trying to relieve relieve what mando and everybody was carrying so it's that kind of sense and it goes on for a bit and it's really entertaining and but you get to realize what kind of episode this is going to be and you know, and but then they get to the actual thing and it's nice seeing how stormtroopers who are not necessarily good guys get seen for a second like they're good guys even though they're like the bad guys it's nice and they're cheering for them and then yeah as this goes on um bill burr and mando are like yeah it's interesting to see that you know it I'm happy to see, like, I'm happy to see these characters. So it's an interesting way, like, to perceive this. It was a nice, in, like, point of view. Point of view of how this kind of episode was written and all that. So that's what really I enjoy a lot of this. And they get into it already. And then Burr sees, like, a former boss of his going to recognize him. So Mando, you know, just takes it. He's like, screw it, he'll go. I'm like, is he really going to reveal his face again? And, you know, to all surprises, he reveals his face again. So interesting. And, and it looks like, you know, he's not going to be beaten up, like, all the time. But it's interesting to see how... You know, Pascal looks in the second season. It's like a, interesting. Like, I just thought it was like, ah, oh, Pascal, he, he definitely looks like, you know, he's a season two of a Mandal look. 
that's just as my like interpretation but still he goes through it and all and you know as the process is going the boss tries to talk to mando you know they're trying to get this coding so they can scan and see where the location's at and then good job again with casting these kind of actors like i know this guy this guy seems like king kingsman or something he was in definitely kingsman that i recognize so it's nice seeing him be like an officer now and then you know burr come and steps in again and kind of has to you know has to kind of talk their way out of it it's interesting seeing a pascal's emotions and reactions i'm like hmm what kind of character is he is it kind of like a little bit awkward it was just interesting it, to see how the acting was done but i can kind of get it because the mando mando has a certain code and i get it when you kind of break a bit of the rules it might seem a bit awkward it's just interesting that he didn't put his mask on quickly but for a while they had this intense sequence like the guy is like seeing where like they're like um let's go sit at the bar for a bit and then just talk and all that and get a drink and all and throughout that process is when you realize wow like as you know bill burr like they try to get by but then he's squeezing a bit about his backstory and then the guy just responding with what he does and all that and seeing how even from the look of the acting i was like this really won me over of the character like i like i was like okay before you were just someone like you were just someone like it's whatever just you know the simple the simplest of a human but now they added complexity they added complexity and layers to this guy too so it's nice and i'm like oh okay so this is why we spent some time at least the spending the time was really worth it and it shows and you know it pissed him off and then i was like is he really gonna shoot him and he shot him and throughout the whole thing you know mando mando's just visualizing everything's like let's just go come on let's just go but then that happens and then there's a shootout and then they have to kind of jump out a different way and you know he finally puts his mask on so it's interesting it's like okay it's when it's time to go and then they, they try to escape back out and everything and you know kara and fennec are, are outside waiting for them and then boba just obviously saves they sweeps in picks them up you know they're kind of doing another little chase sequence but then after that you know boba just you know he gets another cool moment another freaking cool moment he just he lets out his um seismic charges seismic charges and it makes this cool effect and just the, the way it just shoots down it's just nice i like how even though this was a mando again finally it was a full-on mando kind of flesh out kind of character story you know he still had sequences like bird was really good boba you know he still had another, another cool sequence this was a really enjoyable fun episode what was interesting about it it's just i gotta see how eventually it plays out but i'm like you know i can't say it was a filler episode but was it an episode that was needed it was fine and like if you see it still in the context it's still a nice looking star wars film. i just want to see how it aligns with like uh chapter well, episode six and episode eight i was like can we just go through it like make it seem like they just kind of knew but i'm like i gotta see the importance i was like they needed still to get the location in this but then after that like you know how does it go when they finally meet not moff so it's curious because you know it all depends you know it, we're all coming off of like four amazing episodes and still it's an amazing season and then there's still this and i do like that there's a certain calm because there's probably gonna be a big storm but again i gotta wait to see how it plays out but as this episode goes it's like you know, this was one that the expectations were a little bit different, but I still liked it because it all depends. It all depends on your expectations, how you really were seeing it. But it was still a nice, fun, enjoying episode. And there was still enough to know about all these characters. So it was a nice thing to kind of see something that could happen. So it's just, it's interesting to, to think. Like, we'll see. We'll see where it ranks in my favorite episodes of these, of these eight. But, you know, seeing it, it was like, it wasn't bad. It's just kind of like you wanted a different thing. And this kind of, this could be seen as a part one to the part two of a uh, season finale. We'll see. We'll see if that works as a season finale. But it's interesting. I'm like, I'm curious to know, like, how much are they going to cram in now? And it still was fun and all. And and then what really tops it is really, I like how Mando sends a message to Moff and he turns it on him. He turns him and he's like, you know what? You have something I want you have something i want and i'm gonna get it back i'm like yes that at least gets you hyped that gets you hyped of what kind of intensity what kind of battle they get and oh just seeing that yeah these worlds are gonna collide and you know it's it's gone personal and i like that so there's still enough that i just there was enough to gravitate whatever what kind of was with the, these characters and realizing their flaws and realizing these ideologies and it still wasn't entertaining right i like that they compensated it still feels star wars it's still the action and all that still feels really so much like star wars i like that they try to ground as much as they can and we'll see because you know sometimes certain flaws of some certain flaws of episodes do get and end up being kind of saved in other episodes so we'll see but as a context of the episode this episode you know it's hard it's hard to live up to certain things and all that and just how you know kind of accumulates to this 
but I enjoyed it because of the people. I enjoyed it for the people, and that is also Star Wars. Like, if you're in this ride with the, the characters you're invested, this is the kind of story that, you know, that should be done for Star Wars, okay? Star Wars should be done for these kinds of characters, and that's what really made it still entertaining. This is what really made it enjoyable. I just had a good time. I really had a good time just kind of still enjoying the episode. Let me know, guys, what you thought of this episode. Did you guys hate it? Is it the, one of the worst? One of the worst for you? Or did you guys love it? Is it one of your favorites? Hmm? Is it one of your favorites of the season? These are just my thoughts and opinions, guys. I really did have fun with this episode. I really did enjoy this episode. And yeah, you know, it's just going to be interesting. It's going to be an interesting ride. All right, guys, so all this in the comments below. And as always, Roman Empire, laugh, smile, repeat.